Every great adventure starts with landing my spaceship just so I can come kill the residents of this world for fun. Huh? Hello, Mr. Snake Guy. Goodbye, Mr. Snake Guy. Oh, and I get a new perk. Enemy killed by bullet, add damage for gun and sniper. I'll take it. What that means, I don't know, but I can upgrade my gun speed too. Oh, which unlocked my damage. Well, I deal one damage per bullet now, and I've killed two enemies, but now it's 0.20 plus. All right, we'll just get more speed then. It's starting to sound like with every enemy I kill, I do slightly more gun damage. So now it's 0.80. Give myself some more damage, some more range. I'm kind of liking where this is going. More gun damage, more speed. And oh, these guys are burrowing underground. That's so cheap. They popped up, shoot them. Oh, I deal four damage to them. My God, that's good. More speed then. Every round I survive, I get a little diamond so I can get some more upgrades in the future. So I want to survive ideally for as long as I possibly can. And I'm on track if I keep killing things at this rate. Let's get some more range out here. It helps to be able to shoot them before they even get close. Some more range again. And again. Wow, that's expanded out a lot. And I can like four shot most things except for the giant octopus. What is this guy? Dead. That's the answer. And it's perk time. Each time I pick a relic, get a random treasure box. Thank you. More damage, more speed, and a free treasure chest, which gave me some more stuff. There's a couple of them there. Oh yeah. I'm starting to think I got extremely good starting perks. More speed, more damage, more range. This is a lot of people approaching the base. Oh, they have projectiles now. That's not really too good for me. Well, we've learned at wave 10, things get rough, but we can unlock lightning now, as well as by default, increasing gun speed, damage, and range, and default, increasing my lightning speed. What perk should I get? Add bullet damage, 40% more. Yes, please. How exactly does the lightning work? Well, it kind of just gives them a little shock. I guess that makes sense, fitting to the name. And it's perk time already? Give me AI learning then. Hopefully this time I can get a little further than wave 10. And let's increase my lightning damage up just a little bit because it hits every enemy in its radius so maybe increasing the length of it probably a good idea give them the good zap you got it increase my guns firing speed also please oh things are hurting more gun range then that help out a little bit more sort of more gun speed my base is kind of hurting and i'm a little scared i'll be honest it's fine hang in there we can beat the squid guy and he was one shot away well here more base life and i think i'm just gonna focus on my gun for a bit the lightning's good and all but whenever enemies have 400 hp well sometimes it doesn't work out. Ooh, treasure. Sweet. For the first start, I figured I could just increase my gun speed to like half of what its max is. Seems to be working out a little better. More damage and damage again. What do you know? I'm in a much better state than last time. And I get another perk. Fun. Turn coins to diamonds when this round's over. Uh, sweet. Thanks. Give myself some more gun speed. And now I want to increase my lightning damage because here comes a lot of people who I think stand in the lightning radius. Okay. All right. Well, increase mining speed and just default gun damage. That's 10% more damage for all weapons activated. Sweet. Considering how good my gun is, I'll start. I can probably fly through these rounds relatively easy. Incubation in seven waves. I want to know what that is so badly. And oh, here come the burrowing guys again. This is fine. I believe in us. We can hang in here. Oh, I got a new perk. Add max life for the base. Sweet. Increased gun speed and damage. How's he doing there? Good. Oh, giant chest. Now launch. That gave me a crap ton of diamonds. Get the gold robot. And then the diamond robot. Now what's my mining operation look like? Oh, a robot brings me gold and one brings me diamonds. Sweet. That's going to add up pretty quick. An enemy dead will spawn a bomb. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Done full life percent enemies and deal more damage. That's also huge. Keeping enemies from getting to my base. Kind of a major help when I'm trying to survive. I'm also trying something out where I increase the length of the life for a bit. Doesn't really seem to be the right approach though. Ooh, a new perk. On transfers, sweet. Get out of here. Because I think what I can do is start upgrading my regular gun to just kind of be a little better overall. Now, I'm not even really sure if I need to upgrade them for a while. Get coins for each weapon I have. Uh, thanks. I just got 20 coins dropped on my head. Cool. Increase damage, increase length, and it's perk time again? All upgrades get a 50% discount before this wave is over. Okay, uh, buy more lightning speed and damage and length. Now this entire middle area should just zap them at least twice, which should help thin well the fodder. And then I can just focus on increasing my regular gun damage and speed for a second. And we might be able to break level 10 now. Might being the key phrase at least. I do need to increase the lightning speed some more. The faster the speed, the faster the hits, the less my gun has to do. And I got another perk. Each time relics are refreshed, get diamonds. Yeah, that sounds pretty nice. All right, more lightning length, more gun damage also. And now they're just standing in my lightning hits. Yes. Oh, I'm a genius. Wave 10 beaten. Give me more 
more lightning damage and give me more gun speed twice. The ranged people die eventually, the close ones not so much. Will I be able to survive round 12 though? This is a lot of people rushing at me a little bit. At least half of them are dead though. Oh yes, that was fine. Increase gun speed and damage again then? Pushing our luck to lucky wave 13, but I have hope. There's a lot of things attacking my base at once. Please, no, there was just one guy. That's all right. I can start upgrading life restore and getting basic lightning damage down. That's important because after I get my tax return, I can just start upgrading lightning length immediately. Oh, this process is going smoothly and I love upgrades. Another perk, stun all enemies when attacked. That sounds fun. Adds 20 speed for all weapons. Wow, yes, thanks. Add more gun speed then too. How's this look now? Little squiggly weirdos take a lot of damage. That's what I like to see. Then I feel like I can probably take care of this big wave again with somewhat ease. I lost like a third of my health, but that is fine. Two upgrades go into lightning. Two more upgrades go into my gun turret with speed and damage. And I can probably make it through this wave alive. I guess probably is really the key factor there. Oh. And I did. More speed and more damage to my gun. Let's risk wave 13 again. How are we doing? Hanging in there? Yes. Just a couple of dweeby idiots who are dead now. With my crystals, I can add a second gold robot as well as a third diamond robot. So now after every round, it's as simple as three diamonds, two gold for free. Electric damage has a chance to paralyze a monster. Yeah, that works for me too. And then energy shield. Yep, take that. Ooh, another perk. Giveaway. Free treasure chest. Thank you. And now thanks to the paralyzing perk, if I just increase the speed and length a bunch of this lightning field, well, most of the time things don't get close, but that time they decimated me. That's all right. I can just get more max base life and more life restore. And now we should be able to make it to wave 15, especially when I get bullet damage. I'm taking a bit of a different approach this time and dumping into range. And hopefully that'll work out a little better. Chance to paralyze monster. I'll take that. More damage also. The thought process here is maybe if I can kill them before they even get close, I won't need to paralyze anything. Although I don't really know how well that worked in comparison, but I did just get a lot more damage and I survived wave 11. Oh, thank you. Come on, hang in there. Yes. Okay. I have no HP left. Time to launch. Hey, what? And now there's 12 levels of upgrade for everything, but I can get range to be perfectly in the middle along with damage and speeds just a little bit shorter. But after one quick run, I'm sure I can make up the difference. Fire damage. I don't have anything that does that. So I'll just have to take hammer, but you know, I accept. And then AI learning. Okay. This is going to be a really good run. I don't really need to focus on damage that much anymore. I can start speed dumping. Oh yeah, and range of course. And then I got another perk. Get a coin for each weapon I have. Wheat, thank you. That's enough to get speed up to four. Oh yeah, it's like a magic eraser. Just uh, not a fast enough one it looks like. All right, just dump damage then. Surprising how effective that is. Wave 13, big old mess of enemies now. Did I overestimate my gun? No, I did not. He dealt with that pretty clearly. Let's try wave 14 out. Looks like I'm hanging in there. Sweet, another perk. Refresh, I don't have any of those things that work. Give away random treasure chest. I will be taking that, thank you. I can increase my lightning speed length, so hopefully that helps keep these guys down. Oh yeah, it puts them to like half HP. In that case, let's hold on to my gun for a second. There are suddenly a lot more enemies approaching my base. Thankfully, they're getting lightning a decent amount. Keep murdering them. You got it. Oh hey, I can buy this count thing. Oh, I, I just got another gun. Oh, well that's good. Increase lightning speed a bunch then. Again, there's that paralysis chance, so if it keeps them stationary, I'll take it. And then lightning length and damage. My gun's damage just keeps kind of getting better and better, so, you know, no complaints there really. What are these little red guys now? I'm not sure, but it's another perk time. Add attack speed when attacking with a gun. Okay. I mean, that works for me. I love using my guns to kill things, <laughs> especially when they don't even get close like that. More lightning speed or well, it's max now. That is a lot of free zaps. Might as well go gun range max too. Tell you what, I just kind of want to max out both these. Oh no, they're burrowing. Okay. Do the red enemies do more damage? Like by a ton? It doesn't appear to be so. I'll take it. More base gun damage then. Also, it looks like with every kill and bullet, my speed keeps increasing on the guns, like per round. Like we start at 4.3 and then it just keeps going up. So let's increase their speed and they start firing very fast eventually. Adds 20% damage for all electrical damage. Yes, thank you. More gun damage and we're maxed there. Oh uh, yeah, this is nice. There's so many enemies. Increase the length of my lightning by a bunch. And okay, so much like Icarus, flew a little too close to the sun, but we did reach wave 27. Back to the mothership. I've got 40 gems for free, which means I can increase the mining speed and add another little diamond robot. Done full life enemies adds 100% more damage. Yes. Oh, another AI learning. What a gift, especially to get as my first perk and then golden bullet. Wow. All right. This could be another pretty insane run. And I was right. 64 crystals banked, meaning I can increase
increase the mineral value. And if I get that up to 1.6, well, it should start adding up. And I can also just increase my base lightning length and base gun speed. Now I've made it to wave 16, which means wave 17 is gonna have this big ugly free. So I'll just increase my damage a bunch and then buy the catapult, which seemed to immediately murder that guy and add insurance, I guess. I'm not sure what that'll do, but I'll take it. And now that I have two guns and a bunch of range, these next few waves should be pretty cake. Ooh, supercharger too. I'd say after this wave, Let's get out of here. It is a lot of diamonds in the bank, which means I can just start with my second gun now. And I can unlock the missile. What that does, I don't know, but isn't it about to be fun to find out? Two guns, a missile, a Tesla turret. I'm getting the feeling that I'll be all right. Wow, real selective options here, huh, game? All right, energy shield. Ooh, chance to paralyze too. I'll take that. Get coins for every weapon I have. Sweet. They gave me a free 55, meaning I can upgrade my lightning range to be gigantic, and then just get a couple speeds in there. That should take care of most wave-based enemies. Or, well, these big guys is what I mean. Yeah, well, here, have some more speed. Heavy looking, deadly, is what we like to see. And I can just crank my gun range out to be max now. I've got two of them, after all. Ooh, another perk. That's two view range. What, is, what does that mean? Oh my gosh, look at how large my lightning zone is. This is kind of insane now. Just crank my speed to max then too. Yep, looking good. All right, crank damage to max onto the boss wave, but we're feeling pretty good with it. That is just a laser beam on him. Sweet, onto the red enemies, add five diamonds or 25% more damage, or I could refresh. Maybe I'll get something good. One oh, mushroom bomb around the base. Okay, I just kind of want to see that get used. Just need someone to walk into it. Oh, look, there's one. Okay, yeah, that was effective. I enjoyed that. And now if I can just survive this wave and save my money for just a little bit. Oh, well, maybe it's survived this wave actually. I can add on a third gun. That just feels nice. Now we're getting like little mini boss freaks who are dead. And another perk. Adds 10% damage for each weapon I have. All right. Well, I do 50% more damage on every weapon now. And increase my missile speed, please. Wow. Look at all that lightning damage just constantly going. But the ranged enemies. Oh, no. I reached wave 27, but we did not beat it. Am I able to get two mines per run now? Deposit one in. Deposit two in. Yes, I am. Oh, I'm about to be swimming in resources because I can add an extra gun and it's not even round 10 yet. Oh, 10% more weapon damage? Cool. That's 200% more total now. Now increase my lightning speed and damage twice because that should take care of most mobs. No, not Minecraft. Something tells me I'm gonna make it further than I ever have. Anchor again. Kill enemies life percent below some value. So now enemies just have 40% less health basically. And then they just die. That's nowhere near fair. And I love it. Look at this. Look at the murder. Here, max out lightning damage damage too. Oh, my big gun stats maxed out. Don't really need a lightning link to go up anymore. AI learning? Might as well take that one too. Sure, thanks. Just free damage on top of mass murder. What's not to love? Oh, and then they get in close and immediately die. All right. What insane luck I just got. 5% more weapon damage for each relic I have too. Thanks. Add in the fourth gun. I think I can get to round 40 now. I mean, I just now took damage for the first time in a while. Just watching everyone die. My gun is fully maxed. Here, might as well switch over to the lightning category. I wonder if I can just refresh. Add another weapon? Sure, might as well. Lightning's maxed. Now I can only upgrade my missile, which is fine. Here you go, more missile speed, more missile damage. That's a lot of creatures on my screen at once. Good thing there's not any more. More missile radius. Oh, and I can just add more missiles. I see, what is that? Scary skeleton guy. Well, dead is the answer. Add more missile speed, a bunch of it. And scary spiders? No, sorry, there's nothing on my screen there. Thanks for playing though, guys. What perk now? More bullet damage? Yes. Increase the missile radius. Increase missile damage. I don't know what these creatures are and they're very scary to look at. All I know is I'm still alive. Hooray for 40% less health. It'd be crazy if I could just manage to get that perk again. Oh, maybe I should just get partner instead. That should be like an extra 200% weapon damage to everything now. This seems fair to me. Buy another missile. Dude, these guys are freaky to look at. I want to see where did those guys come from? This dropped in out of nowhere. That was horrifying. Oh, and they did it again. All right. Good thing I'm hanging in there. Kill them. Kill the porcupines. We got it. More radius. Ooh, another perk. Refresh, refresh, refresh again. Maybe I can, ooh, more gun speed, yes. I do enjoy me some good old gun speed and clearly the monsters do as well. Hello friends and goodbye. They seem like nice people, just not ones I ever need to get in contact with. Murdered, oh, did I? actually managed to make it through a whole wave cycle. Wave 50, here we are. Everything's still dying. Sweet. 20% more damage to far enemies. I'll take that one too. What is this run? It's insane. And these enemies actually have a crap ton of health all of a sudden. Add another missile. Oh no, they're burrowing. Oh no. Will I actually be able to survive this? Hang on. I went down to half speed. Let's launch. Wave 57. A thousand gems in the bank. I think we can call that one a pretty productive day. <laughs>